Hello, Stacy Fisher here, your brand ambassador for Senior Resource Connectors. We wanted to answer some of the most pressing questions that families are facing with their aging loved ones. So we've enlisted the help of our incredible coalition of age-friendly businesses. We will be seeing Scott Fisher chatting with various coalition members as we listen, learn, and prepare for the next chapter in the lives of our vulnerable seniors together. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Scott Fisher again with you from Senior Resource Connectors. Senior Resource Connectors was a concept that we developed a few years ago. We have many of us in this uh, Connectors Coalition have served and worked with families for years and years. And um, by and large, when we work with families, we are working with the adult kids. And so we have dedicated our, our, mes our message and our mission to be a support for all families, but particularly those that find themselves in that age group, 45 to 65, I'm in the middle of it, where we have families, um, members who are aging. And oftentimes with that aging process, there's even challenges and difficulties and folks just don't know where to turn. And our goal is to help you with information by education before the crisis. Our whole mission is we want to meet you before there's a big problem. Um, we can help you with whatever, but we want to sure help you avoid those those uh, big splashdown moments. And today, there's a um, um, we've got a good friend of mine here, George Phillips. George is the director of business development for a company just in time, moving and storage, here in uh, the greater metro area. You guys' the office in Mesa, don't you, George? Yep. Yeah, and you guys, there's a lot to know about the whole. Um, industry of moving, storage, transportation, downsizing, transitions, and George is just absolutely one of the very best. Personally, helped me with my own family um, not too long ago, and so George, just want to welcome you and thank you for taking a few minutes to hang out with us here. Absolutely happy to be here. Thank you very much, Scott. Very good. What? Uh, how long you been with Justin in the Justin Time Group? Oh, let's see, five well, over five years now. Two thousand and 15, 18, 2018. 18. Yeah. One, one of the things that, that George and I really align on is our industries are highly, um, both of our industries, our personal industries are highly utilized, of course, but um, no oversight, no state regulation, no state requirements in the, in the world of placement. Uh, that industry has existed 25 plus years. Um, and I was part of a group that helped put together a, a, a local and now a national best practice trade association. George is um, up to his ears in, in involvement and in making sure that families are protected, consumers are protected, vulnerable people are protected, and you're shaking your head. And I just want to maybe start the conversation right there. We'll get in a little bit more of some of that, but I want to talk about how vital it is that families and consumers be made aware of, of some of the difficulties that, that they could encounter um, with a storage and moving company. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, up, to, up to your ears. Uh, my ears is <laughs> sometimes an understatement. Sometimes. Well, it caused our hair to recede, yeah. didn't it? Both of us, like, where did <laughs> uh, hair go with all this? Oh, man. No, it's, but... uh, it's a full-time full -time job. When people ask me, um, you know, what my role is at just in time, I tell them the pain part of it is, um, is business development. Uh, but the, the free part of it and Justin's cool with it. And that's what I love about, about working for Justin and, and the company is he is really embraced, um, going above and beyond to help this industry. And, um, you know, when he started, uh, 17 years ago, 18 years ago, the landscape of movement was totally different uh, than it is today we're that much farther uh, ahead uh, because of the quality of movers we have and some uh, here in the senior resource connectors. And so, um, but it, it, it is tough. Um, I, I get phone calls uh, weekly, uh, probably from consumers that uh, just have issues, whether it's, you know, their stuff is held hostage. Um, you know, they, they paid a broker fee to a, a, a broker, which they thought was a, a transporter of goods. And all they did was, book the job and then they really didn't care who they hired to do the job. And so um, it, it, it runs the gamut for sure. Yeah. As, as I was in my previous role as the president of our local trade group, I would get calls 
from families, from assisted living, small home operators, large companies, uh, the corporate assisted living operators on a regular basis complaining or having issues with or asking me what the ethical thing to do should have been done as it related to a, the 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 um the efforts of some agent and if those agents were not part of our association i really didn't have any authority over them one of the powerful things about having a trade association that has best practices and ethic and ethics package and things like that is that we voluntarily submit ourselves to scrutiny, to accountability that we don't have to. Like th nobody makes me do this. Nobody makes you do what you do. No, but no. I, you know, we 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 started the the moving association, the AZ Moving Association, of August of 2020, and today is August of 2023. So three years later, we're yeah. uh, just approaching almost 40 members. Um, 20 plus of them being moving companies, and the other half being uh, just affiliates who believe in. Um, supporting the moving industry. And yeah. we do the same thing. We sign the code, a code of ethics. They provide their certificate of insurance to make sure that they have, um, you know, uh, not only liability, uh, general liability uh, to cover their vehicles, to cover their warehouses, workers comp. Um, you know, it's just, it, it's amazing that, you know, um, you know, somebody might hire like an independent contractor, a moving company that has independent contractors, but they don't have any workers comp on them and and the independent contractor doesn't have any workers comp. And right. then when the person allows them into the home and that person gets hurt, they're going to sue the homeowner and homeowners don't understand that. And I just had that very same conversation with one of our owners of, of a, of a home care or private duty where they bring caregivers companions in the home. And there are two models. There are companies that background check and hire their own people and fingerprint them and, and and when they when that employee shows up, they're covered by the company they hired. There's other company models, same thing. They use an independent contractor model. And little do you know that when they have a back injury from moving your mom around the bedroom, there you are now on the hook potentially for that worker's comp claim or for paying wages or damages. And it families have no idea when they get blindsided like that, that that's coming. Are part of our mission at Connectors tell you about all kinds of topics. This non-regulated space isn't necessarily our topic for today, but anytime George and I talk, we talk about this issue because I I know the energy and time and the, and the full time. <laughs> and in where, I mean, you carry it. You, when you're on mission, yeah. I, I was in that public advocacy space for 13 years, all the way through the time where we started a national association. We took what, our idea was and took it that way. Is there anything nationally that's coming from what you're doing? Is there something is companies, because we have a lot of kids who live out of state whose parents are here. Yeah. And so you're talking about sometimes moving parents from, from there to here, from here to there, anything nationally yeah. that people need yeah. to be concerned yeah. about. And there is. So when I first came to work for Justin, you know, I looked at uh, getting us involved in associations. I'm an association guy. I like associations. Um, a, you learn a lot about what's going on in your industry. Uh, Justin was just hesitant because in the moving space, um, you know, his, his thought process was, is that everything was going and protected by, you know, the large band lines, you know, your United, your allies and, and those bigger companies. And sure. And um, so he didn't really think there was much for the little guy. And so for the for the good part is, is, is on the national landscape and the international landscape, which we're both part of as far as far as the uh, ATA, uh, American Trucking Associations uh, Moving and Storage Conference, that's the national brand. And then the International Association of Movers, IAM, is an international brand. And so uh, on both of those um, landscapes, uh, international, IAM also does a lot of you have domestic stuff as well. So, um, <clears throat> but there, there's regulation for both of those. The problem is, is in the state of Arizona, um, you or I, or me and Stacy, or you and say, you guys could go rent a truck right now and you could be a moving company. Yeah. And so yeah. um, that really does nothing good for the consumer. So everything in trust state uh, within the state of Arizona is, is really kind of regulated uh, by uh one of two organizations, or should be two organizations, is the Arizona Attorney General's office. Um, so Chris Mays um, and that, or her office, and then also the Department of Public Safety's 
commercial vehicle enforcement. And so both of those guys in tandem work together to enforce our industry and, and I use air quotes because it's, uh, you know, the, they, they, they're, get, they're given, they're given, they're given a mission and really no teeth or no, nothing to really do anything with. And so yeah. we have yeah. one law in the books as it relates to hostage shipments. That's it. And, that's and it. so that's it. There's nothing else. And so, um, you know, it's just, it's a constant battle. We're right now trying to uh, just set up, um, you know, information to sit down with, um, you know, uh, attorney general, Chris Mays and, and uh, DPS just to have that conversation um, as a, um, as an organization, as the Arizona Movement Association to really help because, you know, once people cross state lines, that's where it becomes an issue because there is regulation to that. So if, if someone is hiring, make sure it's a, a, a legitimate good mover. You can do that through, um, you know, there's a um, search through the FMCSA, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. You can okay. search for a professional moving company. They've got a protectyourmove.org. Um, they've got a, a lot of great resources you could check to make sure there's a good legitimate moving company. You want to make sure that they have interstate authority because here's a problem, Scott. If if they drive your parents' uh, goods across state lines and they don't have interstate authority and DOT pulls them over, they will confiscate your truck, that truck, uh, and they will hold it. And you don't know when it's you're getting it back. Man. And that's a first-time offense of $25,000. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. So it's like, you know, that's why I tell people, make sure you're hiring the right company, uh, yeah. that they have interstate authority. It, for, for your organization, is there... Um, a website you guys have that lists your members so that if yep. anybody paying attention here is going, you know, I need to get mom here. She lives over on the West side of town and I live out in Chandler and I need, I can't, I can't do 60 miles one way to go get her in Sun City. I need her out here by me. So yep. you yeah, must absolutely. have a way to check. Yeah. It's a uh, movers, M O V E R S A Z dot org. Movers. Dot org. Okay. So. Yeah. Gotcha. We have consumer uh, I, resources on there. We have our members on there. So it's a very good website. Awesome. We have one law that pertains to the placement industry too, right? It, it, it requires me to tell the family that although our services are free to them, I'm still compensated by a marketing or referral fee that's given to us a commission by the receiving facility. I have to have that in writing that I've told that to the family and I have to provide that to the facility. When the law was introduced, it was actually authored by a group that does senior living, and they put the, the attorney general as the enforcement arm. Well, they didn't tell the attorney general's office that they were written into the bill. So we had to go do some education, too, with the attorney general's office going like, hey, did you guys know you're the enforcement arm on this? And like, You know, but... Yeah. For the consumer, for those of you that might be, this is touching a chord with you and you've got some things you have to do or you have to transition mom from home to assisted living or mom from one side of town or another, or she's up in Kingman and you got to get her down here. We just want to give you some, just some real legitimate tools to use and, and a resource to call if you have any questions at all. Absolutely. Um, you know, yeah. Scott, I always tell her, I, I would rather people be, um, more knowledgeable on their company before hiring them rather than after, because after everyone's a professional, if something goes wrong, you know, I mean, we see it all the time. You, you see it in your industry. It's like, you, you wish you would, that the consumer would have just asked a few more questions or right. those questions to ask, like, you know, um, you know, how long you've been in business? Did you look at their, any of their reviews on online? But ask the company about their reviews. Like, like, hey, I see you have a couple one stars. Can you tell me about those and yeah. see how they defend it? Right, <laughs> right. You know, right, right. Well, we we just want people to be locked in and prepared and to be aware. It's like as our as our population is aging in Maricopa County, particularly, um, because these non regulated spaces are available for people to open businesses. That's great. No barrier to entry for the right entrepreneur. That's an awesome thing. I got into my space because there was no barrier to entry. The problem is there's no barrier to entry. So now every Joe and their mother has become a placement specialist. Everybody has become a moving specialist, right? Yep. And well, it takes 340 registered in the state of Arizona. <laughs> we don't even have a registration process. So we don't even know how many placement companies 
which is another issue. But I, I, I'm just taking a stab off, off based off the Arizona Corporation Commission. Really? Well, how accurate I, that is. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we, we just don't know in our space, and we would love to have some sort of registration, not, not to be completely licensed and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not a big reg, regulation person, anyways. But yep. just something to protect consumers and to protect the businesses that are. 100%. that are offering good service. And, and, and so thank you for investing yeah. so much of, and thank you to Justin. I mean, he's, he is one of the real true good men in the, in this business. When you talk to somebody that's calling you and inquiring, what, what, what are you telling them? Who, what kind of stress pressure are you feeling from them? And, and how are you able to help them through that? Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I think when people are going through the moving process, I mean, um, it is probably one of the most stressful times in someone's life. Mm -hmm. And then you add on an aging parent, um, um, you know, health issues, uh, if there are any, um, it is literally a, an emotional time. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, our team, I think really does a good job of really trying to walk them through. So there's zero surprises. Um, we do free and home estimates. Um, we take our time answering questions, it, ex, trying to figure out exactly what they're looking for. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times I think people don't listen. What they do is they just try to assume and put you in a box and and give you that. And what we've really tried to do is we try to listen to figure out exactly what that customer's looking for, that family's looking for. And if it's downsizing and um, you know a complete setup and, and put together of somebody's stuff, we don't do that. If someone's looking for, you know, like the put together um you have a lot of um uh, what are they um like professional move managers and organizers yeah, yeah the you, senior you, move you must partner with them to do that yep. part of it yeah 100 percent. yeah they'll do a lot of that, that the setup and and hanging the pictures and putting the bread spread back and and do that kind of stuff and so we we really try to partner with good quality companies um and have who have great reputation and we try to be our, we don't even call our people salespeople. we call them solution specialists and so we really try to help walk them through that process, ease that process, and try to make it as easy as possible. Um, when I talk to your your solution specialist regarding my mom's, um, it, it was so simple and and communicated, right? We just want to know. I, I wasn't there to quarterback the whole thing. I'm leaving my mom there in charge of her world, but but your team communicated everything, called me, texted me, and emailed me when it was all said and done no surprises on the bill um yeah nothing it was super super easy and i, and I tell used... people if there's i tell people there's one thing we probably do um that people might get frustrated with it, it's we over sometimes over communicate and uh, we just want to make sure that there are no surprises at the end and so we want to ask make sure we ask all those questions and and really over over communicate to make sure that we're we're all on always on the same page well as an adult child as i as i shared about my mom it was um it was a pressure relief it was a stress relief it was a certain level of comfort and in all of our businesses we want to we want that factor you know yeah. we want to have that impact on the people we help and then go oh, their shoulders drop and they just go okay you got it right you got it and um, that is critical to me um, for my businesses, as well as I know for all of you guys that are part of our group here. Um, any last thoughts, George, that you want to share with people? Um, what do they, you know, what do they need to do to call you um, on your, I see your, do you lean one way or the other? There's your phone number back there. <laughs> yeah, there's our, the phone number, our, phone, our phone number is literally you know, people can call or text that number, um, you know, 480-213-0395. They can go to our website. A lot of people go to Facebook and, and yeah. Yelp and all these other different, um, you know, mediums. Um, you know, we just like to try to be a resource and try to help people. Um, you know, my, my uncle told me years ago, um, you know, try to listen, try to help. Uh, and if, and if, um, the, 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 the biggest or the biggest heartache you might have it being in business is that if you could have helped somebody, you wish you would have, um, if it comes back that they, maybe they use somebody else and, uh, you could have been of good help to them. So I appreciate that. That's, that, that's really, really, I'll leave it with that. That says it all. Um, 
if you're if you're checking us out today, kid, thanks for just joining us. It, you know, we've tried to spend 20 minutes here just giving you really helpful information, real life. We're down in the trenches with families. Um, we are here to answer all of your questions. And so if there's anything George and I talked about, um, like I said, strikes a chord with you, call our offices. Our, our contact numbers will follow on the screen. Um, you can talk to our ambassador and or our concierge at any time. There is no charge for our services, and we will guide you, of course, to the right resource. And if you need George, you give George a call, or we'll certainly get him involved when it's needed. So thank you for joining us at Senior Resource Connectors. George, sure appreciate you this afternoon. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. All right. We'll talk to you all later. Thanks again for joining us. Have a blessed day. Take care. It is our turn now to care for those who raised and cared for us.